What's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ. Something brand new that I saw a commercial for during uh, all that madness going on on TV. The basketball, big tournament going on. Which, by the way, shout out to uh, my school, Wright State, for making it in the tournament. Uh, I was at the first four for one of some of the games. Not the Wright State game, though. And they played awesome. Congrats on getting your first uh, NCAA tournament win, uh, Wright State. Although they didn't make it too far. Still proud of them. All right. Uh, that's besides the point. I saw a commercial for this. Vizzy. Mimosa hard seltzer. It was only time. They have the, uh, there's watermelon seltzers out there. Lemonade seltzers. I was like, when is an orangeade seltzer going to come out? And this is pretty much it. Except it's mimosa seltzer. It's really just orangeade though. Because the flavors are pomegranate orange, pineapple orange, strawberry orange, and peach orange. As far as I can tell, there is no um, champagne flavoring or no champagne in here. It's naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Mimosa hard seltzer. 5% alcohol. Made with real orange juice. 100 calories per can. Gluten-free. Made by Molson Coors Beverage Company. And uh, yeah, the ingredients. Sparkling water, cane sugar, orange juice concentrate, natural flavor, citric acid, citric acid, uh, tartaric acid, sodium citrate, dried acerola, cherry juice, and stevia. So uh, don't fear, you're still getting your vitamin C in these. 21% uh, of your daily value. There you go. I don't know why Vizzy does it, but they do. Um, that's about it. The ingredients look the same for all these. Stevia is in these, so there is some... Um, I'm going to call it artificial sweetener, even though... Uh, they don't brand it as such, but it's not sugar. So to me, it's an artificial sweetener. I'm going to go down the line and pour these out. Um, I instantly texted Kayla, who's been on the channel before. Uh, we did the margarita style seltzers. Um, she's a big fan of mimosas. I said, hey, did you see that commercial? Um, she's like, yeah, those look really interesting. I said, all right, I'm going to pick some up. We went to a wedding. We drank some of these. Uh, Kayla and Angie both really enjoyed them. They've both been on the channel before. My wife really enjoyed uh, the flavor she tried too. I have not tried these yet, so uh, I was holding off until the review. And here we are. So we are going to try all four flavors. And I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 minutes because I, I'm by myself. If I can't knock out a video in under 10, what am I doing? I tend to talk a lot, so I will not do that. All right, uh, I'm just going down the line of the flavors listed here. Uh, peach, let's start out with this one. These are all clear. These all smell like Vizzy Seltzers. Let's try it out. Peach Orange Mimosa Hard Seltzer. You can't have a mimosa without uh, the champagne. And, uh, well, it kind of looks like it a little bit, I guess. It's very light, um, almost clear. It practically is. Lots of bubbles in here. It doesn't taste like a mimosa to me. But it's a really good flavor. Um, it tastes like the Vizzies. Vizzies are, overall, pretty good seltzers. Um, the peach comes through nicely. The orange is getting lost in here. Just has a very bright peach flavor. I guess there's a little citrus kick, but I get mostly peach. It's fine. Um, it really has orange juice. Did I read orange juice on the ingredients? Yeah, orange juice concentrate is the third ingredient. It doesn't look like it's orange juice because it's practically clear. It must be just a tiny bit. But yeah, it tastes like a peach seltzer. It tastes like a good peach seltzer. Not loving that flavor. I was expecting something different. It just tastes like a pretty good peach seltzer. Let's see if uh, this is a little different. This is the strawberry orange. That's got to be good. Smells like a pretty decent strawberry flavor. Again, always pour too much in these. They're deceivingly small, but not small. I 
That's pretty good. Um, mostly strawberry. I'm not getting the mimosa. I'm not getting the orange. Nothing champagne to me. I mean, <laughs> I love a good mimosa. I can't lie. Uh, nothing beats a brunch mimosa on the weekend. You know, it's going to be a good day when you have some mimosas to start out the day. It just tastes like strawberry seltzer. These have stevia. And they added it lightly. So you can tell it's there. It doesn't ruin the flavor, though. It just kind of gives you that little stevia aftertaste. Which one is this? Pineapple orange? All right. If you didn't tell me these had orange in it, I really wouldn't be able to know. I would say that's a peach seltzer. Strawberry. Pineapple. Tastes like a good pineapple seltzer. Uh, I had a pineapple seltzer recently. The uh, Bud Light one. There's another pineapple seltzer out there that this tastes a lot like. It's just a good pineapple flavor. I don't know. I was expecting something different. With it being mimosa and orange. These aren't bad by any means, but uh, I was expecting something different. And the three of them really love these. I mean, they're not bad flavors at all. Um, I was just expecting something different. All right, let's try the pomegranate here. Of the brand new Vizzy Mimosa Hard Seltzers. Again, 100 calories, 5% alcohol. And uh, the super fruit, acerola cherry. Man, good thing they put that in there. Finally, man. I was looking for something unique and really good tasting. And that pomegranate is where it's at. The strawberry. It was a good strawberry flavor, which is hard to do for a seltzer. I'm kind of digging that one too, but... This pomegranate one, it's the only one that they didn't try. They tried the other three flavors. No one wanted to try the pomegranate one. And that one's really good. I can taste the orange in this one. That's exciting. It has a, uh, man, like a really fruity, this one's good. Really fruity, fruit cocktail kind of, all the fruits coming together. Pomegranate and orange. Um, almost like a sangria. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. That is very bright, very fruity, very delicious, very drinkable. Pretty sweet without being overly sweet. This is the one I'm going to gravitate towards. They sell these in a tall can. And I didn't get one, and I believe, I want to say it's the strawberry orange. Um, Garrett, who's been on the channel a lot of times, um, he's like, I tried those. <laughs> I'm like, they're brand new. I didn't know you already had them. He's like, yeah, they have them at the Speedway by my house. So we went, and uh, that's where I picked these up. I believe he said he had that one, and he really enjoyed it as well. So these are a big hit if you're a fan of the Vizzy flavors. They're not really straying off the path. Um, nothing crazy different about these. Pretty similar to the other Vizzy seltzers. This one's going to be my favorite. None of these are bad. I can't stress that enough. None are bad flavors. Um, just they, These taste like seltzers I've had before. And I don't know. I wanted something different. Because you got to do something to stand out. There are so many seltzers out there. Um, earlier in the day, I saw... A Coors Seltzer still being sold at a store by me and those as far as I know have been discontinued and have been discontinued for a while. I believe the best buy date on these were June 2021 and those weren't a success because they didn't stand out. It was just regular seltzer. These have the mimosa branding. They're really good. 
but for the most part, tastes like other seltzers you can get out there. This is the star, though. Um, I haven't had one that tasted like this. The pomegranate orange. Whoops. Uh, that's my timer saying it's been 10 minutes. I should uh, probably wrap this up. And I should. But this one, man, that is good. That tastes really... Really good. It tastes like something, but um, again, nothing I've had in a seltzer form. It has the most flavor, I would dare to say, too. And it's a good one. All right, busy Mimosa Hard Seltzers. If you see any new products out there, please let me know in the comments down below. I didn't know these existed until I saw a commercial for them uh, during some basketball. So that was pretty exciting. Glad I got to try them uh, for $17.99, I think these were. Those seltzer prices are going up just like everything else. So, um, man, I would say it's, it's worth it to try, but... It's nothing like crazy different, like nothing <laughs> that I haven't had before except for this one, uh, a pretty good flavor. Cheap beer for you to drink, uh, leave your comments down below. Uh, if you have any requests, if you uh, have an old favorite that you would like me to try, maybe it's something I haven't had before. Maybe it's something I haven't had in a while because uh, there's some stuff <laughs> we did earlier on the channel I'd like to revisit. Um, if it's a favorite beer or seltzer of yours or anything else, let me know down below. Cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching.